<laughs> April, yeah, started April 2015. All right, so like I said, April of 2015. And since then, they've missed one week, yeah. maybe? Like, literally, I don't even think they've missed one. Have you, have you missed a single Wednesday? Have you ever missed a Wednesday? Have you ever missed a Wednesday? So, sick Johns for literally one Wednesday out of the last every Wednesday since April of 2015. That's crazy. Uh, oh, but we're in this. All right. Speaking so actually, of my mom classics, though, yes. you see this all the time. The, oh, like, Cruz Mafia is like, <laughs> I don't know. I, see, I feel like I see this more in like any other match. Yeah, I mean, and back when NGP was like not on hiatus, this was happening a lot there. Like, these guys have definitely played countless, like so many sets against each other at this point. Yeah. Because they're just the two that are always going to make it to Grands. Unless, like, like Claps can take sets off Mafia. He's been a thorn in his side. Yep. Squibble can take uh, sets off Mafia. Slox, but, uh, if he's there. Yeah, Slox not usually at Mabom and yeah. not usually at NGP either. That's why, like, it's, it's, it's these two guys. These two guys, yeah. Um, and usually Crush wins. In yeah. fact, like, Mafia hasn't won in a hot minute. Yeah, I think, like, like Crush had a tweet about this where he's like, I don't think he's won in, like, a year and a half or something. It's been a long like, time. Like, like, a weekly where he's at? Like, and, and even before that, Crush was on a crazy streak not losing to him. And yeah. then Mafia managed to, like, take one or, like, two. But then it, another streak has started a while ago. Uh -huh. And Crush is just so good against Peach. But... Mafia with the lead right now. Definitely yeah. took the first dog and definitely is out here trying to slay a demon. Right, that'd be crazy if it was here of all places. That would be crazy because, you know, it'd be kind of funny. Like, the event that Crush's sponsor puts on, Mafia yep. comes and beats him. Like, nah, dude, sorry. Sorry I had to embarrass you in front of your, like, boss. Yeah, it would just be animated as fuck, honestly. <laughs> all right. So, honestly, like, kind of even because I know that, like, Crush can just open up Mafia. Oh, like, yeah, dude. Like, beans, I swear. But one thing to really look out for in Crush's uh, versus Peach play is utilization of crouch, uh, crouch Cancel, specifically like Crouch Cancel Shine, to then start uh, like the r most ridiculous everything. Like yeah. he'll take entire stocks off of stuff that starts with Crouch Cancel Shine. Man, I, it's just like interesting to see this right now. I feel like Crush is getting hit by something he normally never gets hit by. I don't think he gets hit by Down Smash that much in the game. Ooh, wow, what's the shit? It didn't even need to be a stitch, but Melee was like, Mafia, I got you. I will grant this you, upon you. You take this game one against Crush. You give yourself counter big advantage. That's a good place to be, especially like in their like most recent sets. It's like Crush will go up two games, sometimes just three oh. Dude, two good pulls in a row because he got the Winky Face. Winky Face is the best of the average turnips. It's not as good as the Dot Eyes. Yeah. I I, I put Dot Eyes in like a category like between average and godlike. Uh, the Winky Face is, like, better than everything else. Yeah. But, man, Pokemon looking uh, like a great counter pick for Crush. I mean, I don't think we often see Crush go to this stage just because of, like, how bad he'll beat him on other stages. You're so. right. Kind of interesting to see. And there's a Crouch Cancel going for the down tilt that time. All of this has been off of that, but not able to take a full stock with it this time. Spot dot shine. Yeah, that's gonna be it. And that was, like... Just barely a kill. I think Crush is definitely going back to like his <laughs> regularly like scheduled program. I think <laughs> where he's just like, oh yeah, I do this all like, the time. Oh I, yeah, I like, forgot. I'm, I'm Red Fox. Yeah, <laughs> I don't I don't lose to. Peach. Okay, so something interesting I want to talk about that. So Crush just did like two double lasers, like a handful of double lasers, and then uh, kind of waited for Mafia to come in. And something that's interesting is that normally what will happen is that. Mafia will rush him with a dash attack, and he'll shield, uh, Crush will shield it and then punish. But what I just saw was that Cr Mafia stood right still, floated a little bit, and then hit with a back air that just exploded Crush off the side. So this is like kind of uncharacteristic in my mind. Like that setup I've seen so many times, I could like pinpoint it every time I see it. So you said that like Mafia will dash attack to try and punish try Crush punish for lasering? For lasering. See, okay. he'll try to condition him to start shielding so he can go up and grab. But that time he just said, to, to hell with all of that. I'm going to just sit here and hit you with the back air, and it works. Thank you for bringing, bringing this up, because yeah. Crush's mix-ups out of lasering are really, really good. Yeah. Um, and, like, he might keep lasering. Like, he might shoot a little more lasers than usual, but, like, usually it, he might nair, he might move back, and Mafia, that's, like, one of the things where... 
part of what makes it difficult against Crush for any Peach. Yeah. Because Fox is a lot faster. He's putting damage on you when he's not even risking anything. Yeah. Because he, he uses his speed and he uses the size of stages to get lasers in. And then when you are trying to like not let him do that, he'll crouch cancel something that you try to hit him with, or he'll or he'll like nair you and be faster than whatever your option was. Right. So you're going to Fountain of Dreams, which I think a lot of people that maybe aren't as familiar with this matchup, like this player matchup, like uh, you're like, oh, wouldn't you go to like FD if you're Peach? I think a lot of people understand that this and FD are both like maybe not equally good, but actually no, like equally good. I mean, it, it depends on the peach, really. Do they are they good at chain grabbing? Have they yeah. practiced the chain grab? Like, and for one thing, it's like the mafia. He's like just not that confident in it. Right. He can do it, but it's he's not as confident to bring it out against a set like against a player like Crush. Right. It's not his preference. Yeah. It, his go-to is Fountain and. I mean, this is definitely a good stage for Peach. She wins this against Fox, but um, Crush wins this against Mafia usually, even even on Fountain. Yeah. So there goes Crush. Always trying to go for the Z drop. I love Mafia. He's always like going to have fun in like any situation. Right. I like. I love that about him. Well space drill, and then uh, the shine connected. Yeah. Right now, Crush is looking like a tyrant. Like, shout out to Potato for that. He loves to call Crush a tyrant. <laughs> Crush kind of is a tyrant, yeah. for sure. <laughs> Except for when he has to fight, like, DJ or Professor, <laughs> or Professor Pro, Pro or apparently. Captain Smuckers. Like, all these, like, good players that come from afar. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, wave shine out of shield. shield. He got those. Oh, Ooh. my God. He but, is just toying with him right now. Doesn't have them 10 out of 10 times, it seems. You okay. can't blame him, though, because it's some very difficult technology. Oh, yeah. Crush, I feel, is so comfortable in this, in this player matchup that he can just be like, I'm going to goof around. Yeah, like, even even if he doesn't get it every single time and he might get punished if he misses it, he knows that he, he had a lead. And, like, I think long-term, like, you want to be doing what your long-term plan is, right? Because yeah. if you're not going to practice your long-term plan now, then, like, when are you going to start? Yeah. So I definitely like him going for some tech-heavy stuff like the wave shine out of shield. It kind of like when you get really good at that stuff, you invalidate like so many options. Yeah. Like you, yeah. you invalidate entire characters sometimes with with shine out of shield, but then especially like even more meta, the wave shine out of shield. Yeah. Right now, it's looking like something that I mean, Mafia just can't seem to handle. I think in general, I mean, Peach can't handle shine in a lot of situations. So for Crush to just mix it up like this heavy is like it's a lot for Mafia to put on. Okay, catch them with the back air. Oh, greedy, reckless drill from Crush. But, I mean, you, you gotta be greedy and reckless every once in a while. If you're not, then they're never gonna, like... You can't, like, push uh, kind of the matchup for Yeah, exactly. Shield drop. Yep. Okay. Yeah, definitely like looking for like, up smash a little earlier than I think he's used to, but it still will work on a safe like FOD. Yeah. People kind of like overrate or over like state how much higher the ceiling is on Fountain. It, it's higher, yes, but it's not like, I don't know, it doesn't give you that much more vitality. Yeah, there's not much like room to live. Or, you know. Like it is a little higher, but it doesn't entirely change like matchups. Right. Oh, wow. I'm loving the use of Umbrella right now. <laughs> like I said, Mop is a goofball sometimes. He definitely does some, uh, like, day one strats. So, I mean, Mop is looking way... Or, or Yo Yomi level one, I should say, not day one. Oh, man. I was just about to say that Mop is looking a lot, co like, really confident uh, compared to the last game, but... I don't know, man. Crush can still kind of pull this out. Yeah, we'll see if he gets this edge guard. He did not, and now he's eating some damage, but has another stab at it. Oh, uh, this is not damage you want to take right now. I don't know about back air there. Like, I don't know what he was doing. He was floating backward and back air, and there's a Firefox coming right at him. Yeah. So that hitbox is just like too strong. You were talking about that before. Like maybe he thought that the Firefox hitbox like was about to like not be there anymore. So he thought that he would get the reverse hit of the back air, but it just seemed suspect. But he still has the lead. 
Up nice up. shine. Oh, okay. Definitely tries to bait out some type of response out of shield. Yeah, but. that's that, like, deep, like, run up, down smash I was talking about. I yep. like that up there. Oh, but yeah, he'll this. Okay. He's going, yep, like I said, he's going to use his FC fair to get back on stage. Yeah, but I think uh, Crush at this point is... That he tried it again, but yeah. Crush, Crush is like, no, I've seen that too many times. At, like, one, at like one point, it's like he'll take it and just be like, all right, what can I like work with if that's not just like a basic edge guard? And then after a while, he'll do it again, and he's like, all right, I'm tired of this. <laughs> you got to go. Right. <laughs> nice down smash. And kind of misspaced his like throwing of that turnip. I feel like it would have hit Crush and then would have set up a, a simple edge guard. Oh, okay, get him off to get off this. And oh. running shine grab. Definitely playing greedy right now. Like, you were completely on the nose of that. <laughs> Damn, man. Mafia's oh. lead is uh, gone. Away. Yeah. I mean, at this point, he'll die to up smash. Or up throw up air. Oh, so that's the eyes out of it. Can he get this? Ooh, ledge dash. Okay, uh, ledge dash into buffered roll. Wasn't the. Oh, he throws. Yeah. Right, oh, people are actually. Oh, he gets the hit. Mafia's, That's gonna be it. Mafia's escapes out of Fox up throw are pretty good. Yeah. Um, and we're beginning to see, like, more recently, how not real certain setups against Peach are. Like, people are getting better at, like, wiggle out, air dodging out of the down throw B. Oh, wow. Did um, you see that? <laughs> but same thing with, uh, with Fox up throw. Oh, okay. This should be. Oh, but he, at that percent, it's okay for him to get hit by the Firefox a little bit. Yeah. Wow. Mafia playing pretty hard right now. But he, uh, he wasn't able to finish his food. Yeah. It was a beautiful angle from Crush. So like, you can't really blame Mafia. Right. But he, because he threw out the back air, but Crush's angle was just that Mewtwo King angle. Oh wow, that turn up was like, that was very, that was clenching right there. It's not gonna kill, but. Let's see what Mafia can do. Oh, oh he gets shrine and that's it. Yeah, right. Oh, is he going for it? Ah, oh, no. Crush has some of the best shine spikes versus Peach I've ever seen. He's got so much max to him. And, like, he'll, he'll get kills on Peach at, like, relatively low percent just because of, like, having good stage control, like, giving himself a good position and then knowing when to shine. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really cool, honestly. I think Crush's Fox is, like... Actually, rather unique. When it comes to this matchup, or just in, no, in general, you know? in general. Because, like, for one thing, uh, he uses tap jump for all, like almost everything. Oh, I didn't um, know that. For another thing, his tech skill in general is like just really solid. Yeah. And when you have access to really solid tech skill, like you, it kind of I don't know. Depending on what your tech skill is all about, because there are so many different technical things Fox can do, like. Just I don't know. His style is interesting, and I think yeah. it's I think it's effective like pretty much in every single matchup. Yeah, it's like it's got that mix of like every Fox dreams of and like being really tech skill heavy, but also like incredibly fundamental. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You're right. So I, I it's you know it's something to admire when he's doing like crazy things like wave trying that a little but like also like putting himself in great positions as far as like neutral. Right, and like using the gun like we said, yeah. and. Um, just, I don't know, spacing his stuff well. Uh, Mafia kind of goes for it. He's got backups, but... Oh, wow. Crush trying to bait out some response, but uh, wasn't able to capitalize. I like seeing Foxes utilize, like, the magnet hands property of the, uh, of the upbeat. You can, from from interesting spots sometimes, you can, you can grab the ledge with the Fire Fox. Yeah, Crush getting all up in Mafia's Dude, dash dance right now. Man. Dash dance and then land it in there. <laughs> oh, he just oh. does it. Can he get the skip? No. Damn. Mafia are reading something that Crush is not getting. Yeah, he's just not and being able to. He has not able to He's up there right now. Oh no. Okay. Trade kind of good for both of them. Actually, not good not for Mafia. Mafia. Uh, it, it looked like it might have given him a chance to take the stock, but then, yeah. That's it. That's a three-two Crush. Which is actually kind of, uh, you don't see that often. Yeah, no, you don't. You don't see it go to a game five. Um, usually it's at most 3 1. Yeah. You know, like. <laughs> he'll take one and then he'll just go to this counter pick. Mafia like will win, like, one of the games on Fountain. Right. So I think now we're going to have Crush 